Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, just a little bit of craziness. I want to tell you about salsa and spaghetti squash. While I'm peeling, I'm going to just talk a little bit about some craziness. I'll start that one in a minute. Spaghetti squash. These are the small wonder spaghetti squash. Uh, a couple of days ago, these are hard enough. You can't punch into them. They're good, they're ripe. We're ready to start eating. And I was gonna do a video and show how I cooked it and all that good stuff. And I usually cut this way, but Danny says cut this way. So in the, the comments, tell me, which way do you cut? From top to bottom, side to side. Either way, I guess, might work, but usually top to bottom to me works better. But I did it his way. So the camera up, started trying to cut this way. This little joker's hard, and I had a hard time, and I knew somebody's going to be throwing a fit that I was going to cut my hand. And So I managed to get it cut and on film, but I wasn't happy with it. I figured somebody's going to throw a fit. And uh, I went ahead and put it in a dish. The top half here, the bottom half here, a little water, stuck it in the oven. 20 minutes later, my oven's still not hot, hot. I put a tester in it to see a thermometer. It got to 300 degrees. So in 20 minutes, this wasn't done. So I had to figure out a different way. So I took a big pot, put a little bit of water, put one half down in, turned it on, let it boil for 10 minutes and took it out. So we had almost mushy spaghetti but it was delicious this thing has a great flavor Danny and I love it uh, so we're gonna do a spaghetti squash video sometime in the future when I get an oven fixed or I get a new stove one of the two <laughs> I had to improvise so that's what you do on a homestead now once we ate that night I used salsa and that's what we're doing today making salsa so I I did the um, some fresh salsa that I had in the fridge that I had just done and I browned my ground beef. I added a little bit of salsa. Danny likes his plain just salt, pepper, and salsa and meat. I added some Italian seasonings to mine and I scooped out some of the spaghetti, put it on a plate, put the sauce on it and it was delicious. It was awesome. But I had some left over. So out of one of those spaghetti squash we got two meals. That was pretty awesome. Um, so I layered in our little, these little things, people want to know how do you cook in them. I layered the spaghetti, ground, the meat sauce, more spaghetti, more meat sauce, and I put a lid on it and put it in the fridge. And yesterday when we came back from town and I needed a quick fix for lunch, I popped this into my toaster oven since my oven ain't working, and I heated it through took it back out, poured cheese on top, shoved it back in there long enough to melt the cheese and brown it. Y'all, this was awesome. I'm telling you, you can't beat the little single servings. You already have your food ready. You put it in your single servings and store it in your fridge, take it out, it's ready to go. That's how I cook in those little things. Um, if you're making up a casserole, make up the batch like you usually do, put it in those little things and uh, just store it. You you can freeze in them, I think, but I usually just store things in the fridge and use it over a day or two. Um, salsa. We've made several batches of salsa already. This is, uh, I think this is my third batch. I've got the big green bowl that, you know, look at this. I've already got this much. It is 7.20 in the morning. We spent the night at the cabin, and so we got up early, as we usually do, had breakfast. I cleaned up the cabin, washed the dishes, came over here, fed the animals, and started peeling tomatoes. Now, I'm going to show you in a minute the floor. This is this morning. I already have a bowl this size, almost full, in the refrigerator from yesterday. So I'm going to be doing a huge bunch of salsa today. The floor needed cleaning because I've got tomatoes everywhere and I'll show you. I'm 
Let me show you what Danny just brought in too. Now look at this. These came out of the greenhouse. Isn't that awesome? The greenhouse is doing wonderful. The uh, okra that's stuffed down in there came out of the greenhouse. Some of it came out of the garden in the front, but the garden in the front and the greenhouse. This, the peppers came out of the greenhouse. I already picked the tomatoes this morning in the greenhouse. These two buckets came out of the field of tomatoes. So isn't that awesome? But that means I got a lot to do. And look at this. I've cleared out one spot up here, but look at all of them I've still got to go. So we're going to be making a lot of salsa. These are the celebrity tomatoes. Uh, this is what Danny planted. They're a good tasting tomato, but once they start getting ripe, they start getting ripe. Um, you can have them green one day and red the next. That's how fast they get ripe here. These are more of a, I guess, a slicing tomato, but we're making salsa out of them. The salsa has the best taste, but the deal is with with the salsa and the celebrity tomatoes, they go to water fast. You have more juice, I guess I should say. So it takes more tomatoes to make the salsa than it would if you had a paste tomato. I uh, had a few ladies ask about aprons. Now I have quite a few aprons and I like wearing aprons because I'm constantly in the kitchen. I don't always wear aprons, but I do a lot of the time and it saves the front of your clothes. I'm bad to get stuff all over everything, so people would be saying, yes, you need to wear an apron. But aprons are making a comeback. They hide a multitude of things, you know, just saying. Number one, they hide stains. Number two, they hide other stuff. It beats having to dress every day and I can put on an apron and be done with it because I like my tank tops. Aprons make you look a little bit more feminine and I know in this day and time that some of that is politically incorrect. You're not supposed to be feminine, you're not supposed to be masculine, you're not supposed to be whatever, but um, I really don't care. I like the aprons. I like to look like a lady every now and then. Some days I might not look that way, but I do like to look nice. And aprons are a great way to look nice. And guys, wear an apron. And I'm saying guys, you know, we had someone say they thought it was cute that we said guys all the time. We're talking to ladies and men in the South. Guys means everybody. Your best friend, whether they're male, female, it doesn't matter. They're the guys you hang with. Um, I've used it for a long, long time, and it just gets to be a habit of saying, hey guys, check this out. You know, I'm not talking to men. I am talking to men. I guess I, I'm talking to everybody, men and women. Just know that. I love you guys. and. I hope you can get a little bit out of this crazy rambling. Crazy Days has been a little crazy because we've got so much going on. My cookbook, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, had a lot of people send in some money uh, through the mail. Had a lot go through PayPal. The cookbooks in a little over two weeks should be here, I'm hoping. Uh, two to three weeks. Um, maybe. I haven't gotten a message from them yet, but I'm hoping they're going to send it in three, less than three weeks. Um, let's see, t-shirts, oh, the Sunflower Showdown t-shirts, I think they, they may be through today, if not, they might have went off last night, I can't remember, last call, uh, but the Sunflower Showdown t-shirts are going to be no more after this, uh, they may be on our store, I don't know if they set it up on there or not, you might could get them later, but thank you for those that ordered for our, the t-shirts, the Sunflowers, Mine is over my head. Uh, the Autumn Beauties, they're over six feet tall. They're putting on little sunflowers, doing great. 
and Danny's is probably two and a half feet tall. His is the mammoth. So guys, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for stopping in crazy days today. Just wanted to throw something up there and tell you I hadn't forgotten you. I've got my coffee, got a new coffee thing. This is one of those Contigo, Contigo, I don't know. Keeps it hot, so I work and have hot coffee all day. I throw a little bit of my Ticino over in it occasionally, and that way I make it through the afternoon without too much caffeine, and uh, it's great, because I like something warm as well as cold. This will keep hot or cold, and I like it. So, so thank you guys for stopping by today, and we'll talk to you later from Crazy Days.